Not far from La Cie, Newfoundland, is the former community of Shoe Cove Bight. The bite was said to be a favorite stomping ground of a supernatural phenomenon locals know as Jack the Lantern. Growing up in Shoe Cove Bight, the young men of the community heard the old fellows talk about Jack the Lantern. Years earlier, one gentleman had seen a light coming in from the water. Thinking it was a boat coming in to land on the beach, he went down to meet it. But the light did not land at the beach at all. Instead, it moved parallel to the shore, just the same as if it were a man with a lantern in his hand, walking on the water. One September night, three or four of the boys from Shoe Cove Bight were over in La Cie. As they rowed home, a dim light appeared alongside their boat, like the low glimmer of a dull flashlight. One of the fellows tried to reach it with his oar, but the light remained tantalizingly out of reach. As they turned in towards land, the light moved off into the distance. By the time it was half a mile offshore, it was significantly bigger and brighter. The tiny, flame-like glow had transformed into a burning mass of light. As they watched, the light changed into the form of a schooner sailing with lights all up along the masts and rigging. Similar sightings have been made over the decades, part of a series of stories in the area concerning Jack the Lantern, and part of a much wider tradition of ghost and weather lights reported all over Newfoundland and Labrador. For more local folklore, like and subscribe, and comment below if you've had an encounter with a mysterious light.